Hey, what's up you guys? This is Anthony here from DIY Auto Tech. We're coming to you today with a video on how to test and replace uh, your dome lights in your vehicle. And we're also going to look at a problem that we have here as well, in that the button does not turn the light on and off. So let's show you how to do this and let's show you how to solve the problem. All right, you guys, one thing that was removed before the start of the video was the dome light sunroof cover. You just pry on these little areas here and it pops down out of the unit. So as what we're showing you here is the forward sunroof reading light dome light assembly on the vehicle. Um, what we're going to show you is I've taken the front panel off as it just unclips with a simple flat head screwdriver um, but you can see in this vehicle that dome light doesn't work but this light does. What's noticeable is the audible click on the right side. No audible click on the left side. All we need to do is lower our headliner slightly. What we're going to do is we're going to pull these down, remove a few of the Phillips head screws that are on each side, and that'll just give us enough room to lower the sunroof down slightly. Now that the sunroof is lowered, or now that we have the bolts out, we have a little more wiggle room here. All right, you guys, I have you propped up quite conspicuously up in my headliner right now. And what you're actually looking at is the problem with our, with our unit. So as I was showing you before, when we were pressing the button, nothing was happening. Oops, let's move you back in. Because this clip right here, this black clip should be down connected to this unit. And because this spring is loose on the inside, we're not getting our audible click and we're not getting our switch going into the on position and grounding the circuit. So we need to fix this unit by putting it back on its housing. I cannot do that with the camera in the way, unfortunately, but what we're gonna actually have to do is get our fingers in here. We're gonna have to push this unit completely down. So like I said, we're gonna get up in that unit. We're gonna clip the two together and we're going to see if we get our audible click back. After we figure out that that's going to work, we'll test the bulb out and we'll show you how. Now that we have the clip pressed back in, we'll test the normal side. That looks pretty good. And now we'll test the other side. Nice audible click and the light is now working once again. As you can see, you guys, we have the bulb here and we are using a glove to hold it as we don't want to get our finger oils on the lens itself or on the glass itself. What we're going to see here is we have a power side and a ground side, both the same difference depending on which way you plug it in. Power comes in one end, goes through the electrode, which is tightly wound out the other end, and this creates the light. What we're seeing here is that the electrode is connected all the way across. There's no fracturing, so this bulb should theoretically work. We're going to take our ohm meter and we're going to plug it in on both sides and we're going to see if we get electricity flowing through the entire unit, which should give us a beeping sound on our ohm meter. We're going to set our meter to the audible ohm setting, so if electricity passes through, you're going to hear that beep sound. And as you can see, we have flow of current through the unit, so we know that this bulb is good. So what we're going to do is we're going to push this little roof liner back up somewhere into the general region and we're going to reinstall the unit itself. We're just going to pop it back into place like so. We're going to test our lights. And the reason I like to do this before I bolt the whole unit back up into the roof is because if we have a problem, we can just pop this unit right back off again. So our next step is gonna to be to reinstall the visors with the screwdriver, the flatheads, and this job will be complete. One last thing to always do is we're gonna go over all of our nuts and bolts here and make sure everything is nice and tight and that it fits into place. Don't mind this, this has been broken. 
and make sure everything functions like it did before. Looks like we are all finished with this job. And please, you guys, if you feel inclined, leave a comment down below for me. Let me know how you like this video. Would you like to see the video shorter, sweeter, and to the point? Or would you like to see videos a little longer, a little more in-depth, giving you some kind of tips, hints, and tricks on the jobs that you're performing? Please leave a comment below or like a comment that you believe in so that we know on the DIY Auto Tech channel where to hone in and where to take our channel from here. Thanks. That about wraps up how to replace the dome light, reading light, sunroof unit on your Saturn S series or any other vehicle for that matter, as they are all very similar. I hope you enjoy my videos just as much as I enjoy making them. We're gonna try and shorten the videos down a little bit and keep them much more topic specific. So I hope this video helped. And once again, please like, share, and subscribe any of the videos that you deem appropriate. And as always, we'll see you next time.